Let's jump into our waiver wires real fast and then do a quick Thursday night preview. Wes, take it away. I know you're excited. We've talked about him a little bit, but let's go for it. Okay, it's Josh Downs because I love you. No, but it really is Josh Downs because it's not just going to be this week, but it is this progression of how he has been with the Indianapolis Colts, but specifically for at least this week, possibly the next four with Gardner Minshew. Josh Downs looks great. He is playing great with both these quarterbacks because he's already played with Gardner Minshew. Because Anthony Richardson yeah. has already missed a lot of quarters of football. Josh Downs is fantastic. And let's just celebrate the fact that we talked about Josh Downs a couple weeks ago and you yeah. pointed him out in the breakout idea get him before you can and he's still not heavily rostered but if you did acquire josh downs when noah said to you're feeling good i know i did i also drafted him because i just like him this much but josh downs is a fantastic option especially if you're looking for bye week fill-ins especially if you're disappointed by some of your players I'm head over heels for Josh Downs, but there's a legitimate reason for why he should be a waiver wire ad this week. Yeah, yeah, legit. There you go, Josh Downs. You, Wes, you've got him. You drafted him in our uh, in our dynasty league, uh, and and yeah. now you've got a guy that you can throw into your lineup. There you go. Like it's it's <laughs> Josh Downs is looking legit, especially with Gardner Minshew being the quarterback for the foreseeable future here with Anthony Richardson being out. I love it. Uh, my waiver ad of the week is Roshan Johnson. Khalil Herbert is set to miss a few weeks here. Uh, and obviously, there's we we're waiting on news here from, from James Conner to figure out if he was going to miss time. I think both of us could agree. Amari DiMarcato is, is a guy that you definitely should have at your, in, in your waiver priority. I think he is, he's definitely there. He's going to be a guy in this Cardinals offense. We've seen how they use James Conner. Amari DiMarcato scored against the Bengals. He seemed to be the bell cow whenever James Conner went out. He's a guy that's there. But Roshan Johnson, Khalil Herbert's set to miss a few weeks. And we've already seen Roshan Johnson be involved in this offense a little bit when it was terrible. And now the Bears might have figured something out. Roshan Johnson did have a concussion that he went out with on Thursday night. We don't know if he'll play this week. But I think Roshan Johnson is a guy that's worth having even for later in the year when Khalil Herbert does come back. So if he is available for you on your waiver wire, I think he is definitely worth adding and spending some fab on or using a waiver priority on because he, he, he will be a guy at least for maybe not this week, but the next two or three weeks after that who could be a flex play in your lineup. And then afterwards, he has an opportunity to play a pivotal role in this offense, even with Khalil Herbert back. So Roshan Johnson is my top waiver app. He's just at the top of my priority this week. I'm excited about Roshan Johnson. I would argue that I would rather take Roshan Johnson than any other running back in in the waiver wire pool. Over, I, we, uh, over Amari? Yeah, just because we, we know what we're getting with Roshan Johnson. Sure. And yeah. It's the same thing with like with Jerome Ford. Like we know he already has proven that he can be a solid running back for the Browns in place of Nick Chubb. Sure. So it was such an obvious choice then and he's done well and that's not a surprise to me. It wasn't a great game in week 4. They had their bye, Browns had their bye week last week. It wasn't solid, but it was still fine, especially for a backup. Roshan Johnson, mm-hmm. I know, will do well. And especially yeah. because I heard his name in the Bears training camp. I heard his name often. I did yeah. not heal, hear Khalil Kuri- I did not hear Khalil Herbert's name as much as Roshan Johnson's. There are right. truthers for Roshan. There are people that were saying that Roshan would take over the backfield. So I yeah. actually think he is a better waiver wire option than Amari Dicomito Marcamendo. <laughs> I don't know good. if I'll we'll ever know how to pronounce his last name. I hope yeah. I hope he no, I, I hope he is so good that like Devon A. Chan, he announces how to pronounce his name. So yeah, that'll there be you fun. Go. Yeah. Last piece on Roshan here is that for anybody who was worried that maybe Deontay Foreman could come in in place of Khalil Herbert. 
Deontay Foreman had been getting has been a healthy scratch on this team the entire year. And now he will play because Khalil Herbert is out, but he will not he will not take over the bulk work. He, he he's not in line for that. So Roshan Johnson is definitely going to be the guy.